March and April are considered the bridge between winter and spring, and these months can be a challenging time. The calendar teases us with the official start of spring, and our hearts leap at the thought of warmer days. It's a time where our hearts ache for the warmth of the sun, craving the light that will soon bring life back to the world. It's a time of transition where we find ourselves caught on the bridge between two seasons. Spring is an elusive charmer that seems just around the corner, but isn't quite ready to make its grand entrance. Winter isn't ready to let spring take the lead just yet. So before we can fully embrace the beauty of spring, we must first navigate the last remnants of winter. We hope you'll join us as we want to share with you some of our moments while we are navigating the final days of winter. Many of you may be waking up to chirping birds and blossoming flowers, but here in the Keweenaw, we are still waking up to a blanket of snow and chilly winds. A little chilly with the wind. Good boy, got your frisbee. Oh, aren't you a good boy? Perhaps the anticipation for spring's arrival is a gentle reminder to cherish the present moment we are in. When we immerse ourselves in the beauty of nature, we connect with something deep within ourselves. We let go of worries about the past and anxieties about the future, and we simply exist. During this transitional time between winter and spring, it can leave us feeling restless, impatient, and in need of some rejuvenation. For us, spending time in the forest during this time of year can be the perfect fix to spring fever. The forest acts as a bridge, guiding us gently from the cold grasp of winter to the vibrant renewal of spring. His shirt's coming off. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to fix it. Come here, Ramsey. Let mama fix you. What's going on there? Oh, 
it's one muddy mess out here. It's a muddy mess. Muddy. As we are navigating through these months, we find joy in the small signs of spring, like the sounds of the birds singing their song. The drip from the melting snow. The deer returning back from the swamp. And we can't forget the ever lengthening days that promise that spring is really on its way. We should take nature's advice and slow down, breathe in the beauty that surrounds us, and embrace the present moment with an open heart. Nature has a way of grounding us, of bringing us back to what truly matters. And amidst the chaos of modern life, it offers us a sanctuary of peace and tranquility. In the spring, this is, gets quite deep. I always put my waders on and come in here and play in the water. Ramsey, get over here by Mama. Ramsey, come. Good boy. Look at you go, pretty girl. Little exercise for the old girl. And Bella, too. Gotta get in the picture, you know. Yeah, yeah, Boris gotta get right in the picture, you know. Got some goodies for the raven. The ravens, he's waiting. Hi, buddy, we got some food for you. Oh, you're a big boy. We'll step out into the sun and celebrate the arrival of spring. 
But as we wait for the real spring to arrive, we will embrace every snowflake and cherish every chilly morning, for they serve as a reminder that the best is yet to come. As we navigate the final days of winter, we will hold on to hope and anticipation. We will cherish the small moments of warmth and light, knowing that soon spring will fully bloom and we will be rejuvenated by the beauty of the season. I think winter's back. on this journey through the seasons. Until next time, may you find joy in every moment, whether it's winter's chill or spring's bloom. Take care, everyone, and we will see you again very soon.